In a world where food is everywhere and eating five times a day is the norm, the idea of not eating sounds radical, even dangerous. But what if nature had built a healing system into our biology that activates only when we stop eating? Our upcoming cardiologist and scientist once thought fasting was nonsense. But what he discovered in the biochemistry changed everything. This is fasting for survival, and it might just change how you think about health. You're not going to get a cardiologist talking about not eating and fasting. So this is a little unusual, but this is breaking ground. Because we're always looking for new ways to treat old diseases. Treating diseases or illness, nature has to have built something in there. People got better. People got ill, people got better. Some people, of course, died. But there must be mechanisms built into the body that make you better. And what I'm trying to do here is to tap into nature to see if there's anything in fasting. First, I heard about it going through medical school. I said fasting can't be, fasting can't work. Fasting obviously does nothing. People don't eat because they don't have food. They fasted because the priests told them not to fast. They were fasting because they had seven children and food for only five. But the more I studied it, and looking at the biochemistry, being a scientist, I got to substantiate a lot of the things that I say. And if I'm going to look at the mechanisms, I can't just come up with them. I got to look at the biochemistry behind it. What if you could press a reset button in your body, rejuvenating your cells, boosting your brain, and protecting yourself from disease, all without spending a dime? In this powerful segment, we explore autophagy, your body's built-in healing system that activates when you stop eating. Autophagy starts actually at about 18 hours and then gradually increases and it's maximum at three days. Sounds terrible, it's not fair. But you know what, even if I get some autophagy after 24 hours, I'll be very, very, very happy. But if I want to maximize my autophagy, I'll go for a three day fast. So let me explain what autophagy is. When you are nutrient deficient like this, the body senses that there's no nutrients coming in and there's a thing, thing called mTOR. mTOR levels go really, really low. This is a, a protein kinase in the body and it goes really, really low and that turns on autophagy. What turns off autophagy is mTOR levels are high. What causes mTOR levels to go high is eating mostly proteins. So let's come back again to autophagy. So what autophagy does is that it takes your, your cells and the cell has a lipoprotein membrane around it and there's all the intracellular organelles in it. But in the course of time, those cells, the intracellular organelles, some of them become redundant, there's protein lying around, there's, whenever there's work, there's gonna be garbage. So there are old intracellular organelles and some proteinaceous materials that are just lying around in the cytoplasm. So the body says, I need energy. Recycle, I need to recycle. So the first thing it does, the cell stays alive and it takes those intracellular organelles, breaks them down, packages them into the lysosome and digests it, breaks it down into its pieces. So whether it's the sarcoplasmic reticulum or other intracellular organelles, breaks them all down and exports it out of the cell. Once it's exported from the cell into the bloodstream, the bloodstream says, aha, I've got some new building blocks now, and the body reutilizes that. Okay, so the body now starts utilizing your intracellular organelles. So you're recycling your cells. So your cell is, doesn't die. It goes into a state of recycling. And you recycle your mitochondria as well. So mitochondrial parts, because there's a lot of oxidative stress going on in the mitochondria. So what happens is that it, that cell is now gonna be deplete of its old non-functional parts. And then when you do it, guess what gets re repaired first? All of those organelles. So you basically rejuvenate your cells. Now, if you're constantly eating, you will not rejuvenate those cells. And the biochemistry is so beautiful that these cells now are functioning better. 
they're younger and they are going to last longer. They're more resilient also to disease. I'll come to that in a minute. So autophagy makes your cells better, younger, restoration. It's like, it's like a, a reset switch. So how do those organelles redo themselves? Well, they rebuild themselves because when you then eat, because you've had autophagy, a signal goes from those cells to the bone marrow to say, hey, listen, I used up my intracellular organelles. When you get new ones, new supplies, send them to me. So the bone marrow, when you eat, makes stem cells. Have you heard of stem cells? Well, it'll cost you a million dollars. Just go out and get some. <laughs> it'll cost you a whole lot of money, and it won't work. Because when you inject stem cells from the outside, the residence rates are wrong. Because they didn't get the message of where to go to. It's all artificial. You want a stem cell transplant right now, you're going to fast. It's the fastest way to increase your stem cells. So these stem cells come out of the bone marrow. It's called refeeding reward. And they go into the, into the organs and replenish cells that have died and change the machinery in those cells as well. So there's a whole rejuvenation process. You are a younger, better, more resilient person than you were before. And this has all been documented over and over again. Even 24 hours of fasting can unlock this internal repair system. And when extended, the benefits are remarkable. Autophagy, stem cells, and true cellular renewal. Dr. P reminds us, Healing isn't always about more, it's about less. Less food, less interference, and more time for your body to restore itself. If this changed the way you see health, like and subscribe for more science-backed insights. And remember, your body isn't broken, it's brilliant.